For this sequence, we're going to develop three basic circular patterns that we'll be able to use over and over in a variety of ways to generate all of our Tai Chi movement sequences. Start by bringing one foot slightly forward. The front foot heel aligns with the toes of the back foot and we want to maintain a hips distance between the feet while working. Bring the arms up to a comfortable level without raising the shoulders. Now begin to gently turn the arms in a circle as we also rotate the hip to provide a link to lower body. Allow your body to rock gently and simply allow the arms to move freely. This is our first basic circle. And we notice that begins with both arms moving in tandem. Now the basic lesson here is to be able to take this tandem circle and then allow each arm to move more independently. They're both still rotating in the same direction. That's a very important detail that can take time to develop. So if you struggle with this and you find that one arm insists on turning the opposite way, Persevere and eventually you'll work it out. Now bring the hands back together in tandem. And as the hands come to the 12 o'clock position, pause and now rotate them the other way. If you want, switch your feet. Now once again, once we set the hands in motion in a tandem circle, begin to separate the two, allowing each a little more independence of motion, but maintain the common direction of rotation. Each of these circle patterns gives rise to a family of movements. This pattern one of the most prominent movements that it gives rise to is a pattern called parting the horse's mane. From the side, it looks something like this. I begin with my unified circle and then I allow each hand a little more independence and all I do now is alter the way I inflect the movement as I execute the two circles. And then we can take this unified circle and use it as a linking element to transform the pattern to the opposite side of the body. Part the horse's mane is just one example of how we take our basic circle pattern, this, and its variant the split rhythm and develop one of our primary Tai Chi movement patterns. The next circle, you can bring one foot forward. One foot forward allows us a little more freedom of motion. There's a little less tension in the posture. That's why I'm recommending this particular stance as we do these basic circle patterns. The next pattern looks like this. Both arms rising and descending in unison. We describe this as the outside line and we describe this as the interior line. So the hands are rising to the outside and then descending along our midline. As it rises, notice the palms are up. As it descends, the palms are down. So this links to the eight treasure sequence, which we've developed as part of our basics. Now just as we did in the previous circle pattern, now we'll begin to create a little more independence between the right and the left side. Stay loose, breathe freely, let your body rock, experiment, feel the weight shifting, and practice moving back and forth between the split 
more independent version of the movement and the combined movement. The critical difference between this pattern and the previous pattern is the fact that both arms are rotating in opposite directions. And one of the most basic movements derived from this pattern is the pattern that we describe as dragon shoots the pearl. The only thing we've done here is alter the orientation of the hands and arms a little bit as we work. But the fundamental pattern remains the same. The final circle pattern, switch your stance if you would like, is the opposite of what we've just done. So now the hands will ascend on the inside line or the interior and they'll descend on the exterior line. Now with this pattern there's another slight difference. I'm keeping both of my palms oriented toward the ceiling. And now we go to the same procedure that we've used in the other two patterns which is to give a little more independence to each hand. Another way you can work this is to bring your stance to a parallel shape and practice this way. As you work through this pattern, think into the palms of the hands. Allow the body to rock, allow the hip to turn, so that as with all of our practice patterns, we're driving it from the hips and legs. Again, the unified form looks like this. and the split form like this. This is a classic Tai Chi pattern known as cloud hands. With a little bit of inflection in the shape of the hands, we can begin to take that basic circle and expand on it in a marvelous array of different patterns and qualities.